Okay, so here I am, I'm in uh, central London. We are in London and now we're going to the city after taking a quick nap because I woke up so freaking early. Is that the public service? Please mind the gap between the platform and the train. This station is Westminster. Okay, so here we are in Brick Lane in London, Eastern London right now. And we're going to check with the skate shop, Slam City Skate, which is the oldest skate shop I believe in London. So now I'm gonna try to go and get somebody to talk uh, for me at Slam City Skate and know a little bit more about the skate culture in London. All right, it's rolling. Cool. Hi, Rich. Hey. Nice to meet you, man. And uh, you. thank you so much for receiving me. I can tell that you guys are not joking around. You're crazy busy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. can you tell me... Um, Customers coming in the door as we speak. <laughs> Customers coming. Thank you so much, man. Can okay. you tell me a little bit about yourself, a little bit about the, uh, the skate shop over here and to the best of your knowledge about the, the skate scene in London? Sure, okay, so we're at Slam City Skates right now in Brick Lane. I've just started working for Slam City. The store's under new management right now, um, so we've got a new team of people behind it. And uh, yeah, we're giving the shop a little revamp at the moment. Um, it's sort of a new chapter for Slam City. We want to get more involved with the scene and do you, do you know when uh, do you know when it was open initially initially yeah. Yeah, i think it was the end of the 90s if i'm not wrong maybe in the late 80s i believe oh, yeah. late 80s yeah 87 maybe. maybe okay yeah yeah, yeah. so the store's been going a long long time lots of history you originally from bristol right I'm originally from bristol yeah so what do you think about the scene do you think it's a bit, a bit different um, is it more like international people going here or? yeah it's different so i come from like you said bristol where it's it's quite tight, it's a lot smaller um, and in comparison to London you kind of have people from all over um, that are here, um, yeah, from all over the UK and then international too. Um, it's like the hub for skateboarding. Can you tell me uh, also a little bit about the skate spots over here? Obviously everybody knows about South Bank. Is there anything worth uh, checking? In London is just every corner you turn. If you're street skating, man, um, yeah, I've, I've moved up here three weeks ago and I've seen like a new spot every single day. There's always like new development. Yeah. Is it easy to skate? Because I feel like the ground is pretty bad <laughs> everywhere in London. Yeah, I feel like certain pockets is smoother. Like we're in East London right now and I think it's, it's pretty good to cruise around here. Um, but yeah, generally the spots are quite crusty. Yeah. In London. That's the style, it man. It gives the style. Yeah, the you don't yeah. have to, the trick doesn't have to be as hard. You can, you know, you can do a simple trick, but because the spot's crusty, it's a nice balance. And if I'm not wrong, I think you have something to do with uh, Skateboard Cafe as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, that's my company, man. That's the board that I'm riding right now in Dubai. Oh, the no. Leif Sami, the one with the scorpion. Oh, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is uh, his brother, Louis. His other brother, not Kareem, his other brother, Louis designed that one. I um, started that brand uh, with a friend of mine, my business partner Andy Maypiece, um, 10 years ago now. I started as uh, nothing more than a scene video called Skateboard Cafe. It grew bigger and bigger in, uh, in the UK, it's nice. And yeah. a lot of people are writing we're, this. We're global now. We have you know, um, recently picked up distribution in uh, Korea. Um, we're out in Japan now, selling wow. in the States. So yeah, it's crazy. Um, I'm probably forgetting somewhere. But um, oh, Australia a little bit, uh, we hope to do more soon. Um, but yeah, every season we sort of gain a few more stockists and yeah, we're just gradually growing. Cheers. Little by little. Is there anything that you would like to say to anybody who's an outsider from the London scene? Yeah, I'm here just for a day. Yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, right, uh, just for the day, that's hard. I mean, if you're here on a skate trip for longer than a day um, and you're trying to find spots, uh, I would recommend getting on a bus, a double-decker bus, uh -huh. and uh, you see so much on the buses. 
Yeah. Um, rather, don't get the underground, get the bus. So this is just you, how you pick the spots from the bus. Yeah, you, look you, and you see stop. so much. If you're on the top ah. floor, just looking out yeah, the window, exactly. and you get stuck in traffic and you get a good look at the spots, you know? Nice. Yeah, even if the journey adds 10 minutes to your journey, 15 minutes, it's worth it because you see more of the city. Thank you very much. Cool, thank nice you. Nice to meet you, man. Rich. I also get a twin brother myself, so yeah, no, I can do the it. joke. I bet a lot of people think you're carrying, but this is not carrying. I'm yeah. here, right here, with uh, Leif Sami. So the second best one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. So you just came to London like a um, couple of months ago, if I'm not wrong. Six months ago. Yeah. Six months ago. So how is it here? What do you what do you think about the scene? What? Uh, yeah, really good, man. It's what? really good. What well, actually took you to London? Uh, work. I moved here like to work uh, for a shop for Palace, so kind of gave me a chance to move here. I've always wanted to move to London, uh, so yeah, it's just I got a lot of friends already here, which I didn't realize when I moved here. Then all of a sudden, it's like you know, kind of realize how many people you know in such a big city. So would you say it's like much much bigger than Bristol? The skate scene much, over much here. Well, this, yeah, the skate scene is bigger. Bristol has one of the best skate scenes though. So even though even though London's bigger, like the scene in Bristol is like it's pretty special. Like you don't get I think like in a big city like here is more like people don't really know each other. They do though, like, they do though, like they do, there's a lot it's so much it's so it's so much bigger that like you do ha it has to be fragmented. You know what I mean? Like it's just yeah. natural yeah. the fact yeah. that yeah. it's so big that it is gonna be sort of fragmented. So it's like you're gonna have the South Bank crew, you're gonna have yeah, the Shoreditch you know, crew and uh, yeah. where in Bristol uh, it's a little bit more homogenous because it's such a it's a lot smaller. Everyone kinda hangs out with everyone yeah. and skates the same spots. And Bristol is also home of uh, Skateboard Cafe, right? Yeah. And yeah, I met yeah. Rich, yeah. who's the founder, and yeah. also congrats on being in the brand and being hey, cool for, cheers, for Cafe. It's yeah. been a few months as well, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been about uh, nine months, ten months or something since yeah. Yeah, six. So, yeah, so nice. I mean, I've been on Cafe for probably four or five years now, maybe. So, but yeah, so Rich kills it. And I'm actually riding your ball in Dubai. Hey, it's <laughs> So cool, I, yeah, so I, Do you have any other sponsors? Shoes, uh, DC clothes? shoes, yeah, and that's it. DC yeah. shoes. We just right did a cafe collab as well. Oh, nice. Is, uh, Sick, man. Hopefully, get these out to Dubai soon. You know, get uh, get them in casino, maybe. You know. So what's your favorite spot right here? What do you think about South Bank, for example? South Bank, it's uh, not my favorite spot. I personally don't enjoy skating there because uh, it's very, it's, it's quite difficult to skate. But when you kind of grow up there, you figure it out. But South Bank is one of those. I think if you grow up skating there, then you, you know, you're kind of like you've adapted to it. Whereas like me coming from Bristol and just skating it for the first time, it's pretty hard. You know, it's pretty hard. I prefer the skating street spots in London. So did you make some nice discoveries? I heard you were like uh, filming some street yesterday. Did you get some uh, heavy stuff that uh, nobody saw? Got yeah. like there's like yeah, film, filmed the trick yesterday, which is good. Um, which I'm hyped on is like you know kind of a good, there's so many good spots central so, so yeah, it's, it's fun it's getting on and it's like every day can be different you can't cover the whole city in one day yeah. so you know. well I hope you will post a bit more on Instagram because yeah. we haven't seen anything from London yet yeah not yet <laughs> man yeah. now the rich is here like we'll be skating a lot more that's it oh so rich right after you yeah yeah he's been here about three weeks. All right, so, yeah. so you actually the uh, OG for here? No, actually, <laughs> before I moved here, Ollie, who rides for CAF, moved here. Uh, he manages the palace shop now, so that was kind of me. That was my reason for moving here. To, you know, it was my in, and then once I moved, Rich is, you know, it's kind of just natural. Rich was like, well, a lot of the team live here, so, you know, Karan lives here. 
uh, Dan also writes for the company, lives here, Sam lives here, so, so just a lot of the uh, cafe, lot team. cafe yeah. team live here now, yeah, so yeah. it's good man, it's like, nice. you know, it's cool. Well, I hope we're gonna see you in Dubai soon. I maybe after wait. summer, maybe uh, after summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try to get Kareem here this year, but he's going to Japan. Yeah. Uh, there, maybe next year he'll come here and then I'll go to Dubai maybe in like February or something. The What's happening right now? What's the event right here? Uh, this is this is uh, Dougie George video part for Butter Goods. Um, fucking banging. It'll be online soon, I'm sure. Um, yep. Yeah, and uh, TT Liquor. Yeah. Awesome spot. Amazing. Yeah, the part was incredible. Is there anything yeah. else you want to tell us? CasinoHardware.com. Casino Hardware. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You know, right here. Yeah, that's what's up. Sick. All right, man. Hell yeah. Thanks for tuning in.